S, the Creighton V3 Transform in a V4. Let's see how she does. And yes, I did upgrade the servo. I do have an OMG 36 in there, close to 500 ounces of torque. I uh, did not record that one, but now it turns with those big wheels. Let's see how she does. It is an older machine. There's a lot of people made videos on this machine, but why not? This is an uneven terrain, a lot of rocks, but it's not bad. The handling seems a lot better, a little more stiffer. The other thing I want to do to it is basically change the diff, the oil in the diffs. It seems like it's it's pulling more in the front, uh, not in the front, in the rear, should I say? Because it is lifting. I'm going to change it to make it pull more in the front that way. It'll stay more on the ground. But that's going to be probably a winter project. Some dangerous obstacles.
The joy of flipping a machine. I think my wing is a little bit crooked. There we go. You cannot be afraid to damage these machines. If you're going to start babying your machines, then don't don't get any. I do have the Outcast, the Creighton 4S's here, and the Outcast is broken right now. Broke a caster out of it. The Creighton V1 still surviving. The Creighton V3 that's in front of us right now, taking a beating. And if you're a follower of the channel, you will notice uh, a video that's been posted. The Creighton 8S. One of the diffs is broken. We didn't figure out yet which one. Another awesome machine, but every time we take it out to that park, something happens to that machine. I don't know why, what's the curse of it. But this is a new spot. We're just trying it out to see how it is. Not bad. Not bad of a spot. Nice jump right here. But unfortunately we have the tree line. And we do the jump. And like I said, this is the Creighton transform in a V4. It's a V3. If you guys have any questions or comments, post down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. It does help a lot the channel. Thank you for watching.